Alright guys, today in this video I want to talk to you guys about this application, it's called Twerp Manager and it's gotten a recent update um, and I'm going to go through it because it really changes the UI a little bit um, on how it works and uh, we're going to show it to you today. So go ahead and download this on your device, this does require two things, it's going to require root access and it's going to require an unlocked bootloader. So this is actually going to be done on my Nexus 7, the uh, 2012 version I think, the original version. Um, but any device that has unlocked bootloader and uh, has root access, you should be able to use Twerp Manager. It is a very cool application. So let's go ahead and go through it. And here you go. This is open it up. This is the initial screens. Now, initially, it is going to pop up and ask for root access because you do need it. But I've already granted it root access, so I'm, I'm not getting that. Now, you're probably very familiar with this screen. This is the Team Win uh, boot up screen when you enter Twerp Recovery. Um, so that's what you got there but this whole interface has changed so now you have to uh, enter things and, and check out all your menus by clicking up there in the top corner or you actually can um, just swipe across the edge and it'll bring out the menu screen alright so home is obviously basically just this screen this is your home screen um, we'll go down and we'll go through some of the other ones I'm gonna kinda skip around in these a little bit just because there's kind of an order I want to do it in Alright, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to show you in settings some features you have right here. So, if the application doesn't automatically find your external SD card location, you can go ahead and click that and point it to the right direction uh, where that is actually at on your device. So, you know, maybe you want to go up to storage. Normally be listed right here under storage. Well, storage right there. Um, and you can pick out where that is. This device does not have an external SD card, so you're not going to see that on uh, this device. Um, and actually, you know, one of the other things I want to do because I think it looks way cleaner and a nicer look of the device is go ahead and change this. And I'm going to change this to the dark theme just because I really like the way this looks better. There you go. Probably easier to see in the camera as well. Let's go back to that. And there you go. So it does have a dark and a light theme, whatever you prefer. I really prefer this theme. I think it looks really nice. Um, obviously there's a OTG US, uh, USB OTG location if you wanted to back up to OTG which is very nice there's an option for that um, purchase purchase um, restore purchases and purchases basically if you want some of the advanced features like live backups you will have to pay for those it's only like 250 anytime you guys find an application I just gotta say this anytime you find an application that you really love dude pay the pro version get the donate version whatever it is because that's going to support this developer and it's going to improve the application and any future stuff that that developer is going to do so you know the 250 is, is not a big deal it's not like it's a lot of money just throw the guy some bones and say thanks for the, the awesome applications they put out alright so that's all being said um, obviously there's a KitKat SD card fix thing you can actually uh, click on and it'll actually bring you to an, an uh, Google Play link and yeah, it says go to Google Play, and it'll fix because um, fix your SD card because some of the SD cards um, with KitKat have actually been stopped, so you can't actually write to them correctly, which is kind of goofy why they did that in Android, but they did. So just be aware that you can actually click that in settings there and fix that as well. So we'll go back up here. Um, next thing I want to go through is uh, reboot options, kind of working backwards. Um, this is just standard reboot stuff right here, you know, reboot device, reboot recovery, reboot bootloader, shutdown device, okay? Um, this is just nice if you want to get into recovery just without using the application, but yet still be able to boot into recovery if your custom ROM doesn't have a reboot to recovery built into it. It's just a nice feature to have in Twerp Manager. Alright, so then from there we can go to install Twerp. So the only thing that, like I said, is required with this is that you have an unlocked bootloader and you have root access because it needs root access to use this application to install Twerp Recovery. Alright, so right there you can see it says your device name, it says Grouper. That is the code name for this Nexus 7. And then all you got to do is hit Install Recovery. And what it's going to do is it's going to go online. I think this is probably to Goo Manager, I'm guessing that's what it looks like. Um, and it's going to download the Grouper image, recovery image. And then it's going to ask you if you want to install it. There you go, it's downloading the recovery. 
say yes you want to install just give you a little warning about it um, and right there recovery flash successful so now you have torque recovery if you didn't have it before um, it is now installed so now that we've got that kind of prerequisite stuff um, taken out of the, the picture you know everything's kind of figured out we can do our restores our live backups if we have the paid version classic backups and install the next four top options because we've got our device set up and ready to rock and roll for this to work correctly um, Live backups are really neat. Uh, let me just talk about that really quick. Basically, um, oh, it does say you must reboot and recover at least once. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to options and do a reboot to recovery. So, like I was saying, um, live recovery is really cool because what happens is instead of booting into recovery, you know, like you're like I'm doing here, and I'll show you, and you know, going in and hitting backup, putting in your backup name. Um, running the backup and the things in recovery, you can actually run the recovery when the device is on. So here we go, we booted in at least once. Now I can boot back out, back to system. Um, and you can obviously use that interface too if you want. I mean, it, it's there. But what's really neat about the back, uh, Twerp Manager is that you can do a lot of like automation of your backups. So I'll show you that as soon as this thing boots up. All right, we booted back up. Let's open up the application again. There you go, that's that standard uh, darker theme that I really like. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do just a backup, a standard backup for right now. And just to show you how it works in recovery in Twerp Manager. So we'll go to Classic Backup, due to recent changes, uh, specifics for targeting, the, you will be able to back up to internal from this app. So I can only back up to internal, which is fine. That's the only thing I got on this thing anyway. So I, I mean, it gives you some pre-check stuff. Um, I like to pre-check like all of it. Well, almost all of it. I'll leave Android secure and generate MD5. I'm not going to bother with that either. Um, and then right up here is your name. So this is pretty important. It's obviously got the date in there already. Um, what I'll go ahead and put in is I just want to put in stock. Um, that way I know it's the stock operating system that, that's being backed up. Alright, so we can close that back down. And then all you got to do is go ahead see what I have downloading right now. Yeah, Hangouts can wait. Go ahead and hit backup now. And what this is going to do. So the reason I like, I like this, okay? Because normally you have to get in here, you got to go through all your options, set it all up, watch, wait for this thing to, you know, do the backup walk away for a couple minutes, you know, five, ten minutes or something like that, and then come back to it and be like, oh yeah, I got to boot out of recovery, you know, okay, get out of recovery, boot the device back up. With Torp Manager, it's just one shot. Just one shot. You, 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 you hit that back up now, this thing will boot to recovery, run the recovery, boot back out of recovery, done. Your device, When you come back to your device, it's not sitting in a recovery screen, it's done. There is no more you know, there's no more, you know, getting back and rebooting the device because it'll reboot when it's done. So I'll show you that when this thing wraps. All right, there you go. You saw it. I thought the screen went blank because it wasn't done, but <laughs> that was it. Finished doing the backup. Boom. Reboot. Simple. Super simple. Um, very, very cool. See, I, I didn't. I was about to push something to make it do, to turn the screen back on, but it didn't need to. So that's it. That's how it reboots itself. So when you push that in Torp Manager, you get your backup. You get back and running when you get back to it. It's going to be running when you get there. So that's really cool. You know, give it 10 minutes. Come back. Your device looks like you didn't even run a backup, but you did. Um, that's one of the beauties of Torp Manager. Let's just let this thing wrap up and finish booting. All right, so we'll get back into the application. And so we did the classic backup. Um, here's the restore, and it works exactly the same way. You can see I have a whole bunch of restores in here. Um, right here is your stock, one I just did. And then you can see, man, there's, I haven't run some backups in a while on this thing. It's been out of the loop. Um, so you can just, same thing, if you pick one of these, you hit confirm, you know, Let's just go back here. We'll go. We'll go back really quick. Go back to restores. You pick one. 
then you hit confirm and it does exactly the same thing. Turns off, restores, turns back on, you're restored. Boom, done, okay? Very, very cool. Very, very nice interface to work with. Um, next, I'm gonna go over some install here and this is for actually installing zips to your device. And what, what's really cool about this is, is again, it's totally automated. So you can actually set it up to do an Android backup, to wipe all your data, then to install a zip, and it'll do, and then it'll reboot. It'll do it all. It'll do it all in one shot. Okay. So if you want a backup, you can click this one. Say okay, that's fine. Hit backup now, and then it's going to go back to this screen, and um, you can uh, say okay, I want to wipe data. I want to wipe cache. I want to wipe Delvic, and then you can add a zip and find. Uh, you know what other whatever zip you want to use so I think I have probably some in downloads um, let's see what I got eh, maybe not in downloads Kit Kat, do I have any ROMs? Um, AOSP so I have there I could run that and like some Kit Kat stuff select them and and just do a total flash I'm not gonna actually do a ROM install right now but that's how it works so it'll do your backups it'll do your wipes it'll flash your ROM and it'll reboot your device when you get back your device after 15 minutes you got a new ROM and you have an Android backup how can you beat it man that's that's pretty 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 cool so then we're gonna go to live backups that's the last thing I haven't gone over and you can see it's the same kind of deal check what you want to check go ahead and give it a name um, you can have pick your storage location as well um, I'm not gonna change mine and then if you want to run this, so what's really awesome about Live Backups and one of my favorite fe pe features here of Tort Manager is the device doesn't turn off. I mean, watch. Backup now. All right. This device is not going to actually turn off. Um, I'll show you what it's going to do. There it is. That's what it's going to do. It's going to do that. And it's going to run like that. Now, these backups do take maybe twice the time. So maybe a normal 10-minute backup is now going to run you like 20 minutes but your device isn't off, okay? So this can be like this, and just watch. You can come back in here, go back to your, your normal screens, okay? You know, do your normal stuff, go in your, your app drawer and, and do whatever you're doing. Now, it may be a little bit less responsive because it's doing a lot in the background to do this Nandroid backup, um, but not too bad. And you can actually see up there in your notification it says backing up recovery. So it tells you what it's doing, um, and it's gonna, you can always go back and view how that recovery is going. Um, but yeah, you can still get in here and you can still use your, your, your device. Um, so, you know, play a game, check your email, go on Facebook, whatever you want to do, Twitter, you know, and actually still be able to do that, which is just awesome. And then when you're done, when it's done, you'll have a backup. You can even come back in here and take a look. Okay, so it's backing up cash. Nice, excellent, you know. You know, good to go and watch it run. Like I said, when you're done, you will have another backup and your device hasn't even turned off, which is just amazing. So, that being said, that's gonna be my wrap up here of uh, Twerp Manager, um, which is just, just a really, really, really cool application. So if you guys like what you're seeing here on Twerp Manager, please go uh, check it out right here at Google Play. Um, download this software. Buy the paid version, it is amazing with, if you want to use those live backups. And uh, pretty much it. Hope you guys like this little review here of the new interface and how to use Twerp Manager on your unlocked rooted device. And um, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.